Welcome everyone to another episode and it's been a while, huh? Well, it's time for the crafting tutorial and as you can see, I pick up three sticks and I have them in the inventory and if I click on the crafting icon, I can craft some wood and the wood gets transferred to my inventory. Make sure you check out the inventory and the movement tutorials that I made before this on the side or in the description. Now we can move on to the making of the crafting system. First, we're gonna make a new folder in our scripts called craft and add a first c -sharp script which will be called craft UI. Now we need to make some variables. We need to have a variable of craft UI, inventory, list of craftable items, prefabs of the created items and the content of the craft UI. Also, we will need a craft slot array which we'll have to make a craft slot script for. In it, reference the Unity Engine UI and add an icon image, the text, parts to make the items in the crafting slot and so on. We need to make the check parts function which will check if we have enough of details which is what I called the crafting items. On create button function we will create the item shown and add craft item will add it to the inventory. Now in the craft UI script, on start we will have to call update UI if the stuff in the inventory have changed. In the update UI function we check parts and making the craft button interactable true or false based on the number of crafting items we have and does it satisfy the requirement. On the click craft button we just handle what is going to happen when we click on the craft button on the screen. After this we need to go into the inventory script and edit the commented parts of it. Add a craft UI game object and add it if you click crafting button while inventory is open, close inventory. In Unity add an image to the canvas and remove the picture element and canvas renderer and call it craft. Adjust the size of it so that it fits wherever you want, I made it like my inventory. Right click on the craft and add a UI image and add the inventory background as its sprite. Go back to the craft game object and make sure you add a tag and call it craft. Adjust the craft UI background to fit the craft game object. You can check out how it looks in the game screen. Add an UI image to the image, call it scroll view. Make its anchor stretched and add a mask as well as scroll rect. Make another UI image on the scroll view and call it content. Adjust its anchor to the top middle, 
This is your card that represents the craftable items. It will make more sense later when we will adjust it even more. Remove the image and add a content size fitter and make the vertical fit preferred size. Add a vertical layout group and add a spacing of 7. Also check the control child size checkbox. On the scroll rect add the content game object to the content tab. And check off the horizontal scroll. and make the alpha color of it 1 or 2, I put 2. Right click on the canvas and add another UI image called button craft. Make the anchor top right and go onto Google and find a crafting icon. I found mine here. Import it into Unity and we've done all of this in our previous episodes in more detail so I'm not gonna explain it more. On the button craft add a button and add a canvas to it. And find the click craft button under the craft UI. and make sure you hide the craft game object. It has an error now telling us we need to put the correct stuff inside our script. Now we go into the prefabs and make a color called craft. Make another UI image on the canvas called item craft and add it as a prefab and delete it from the scene. Now you have to follow carefully what I do here. Put the position on the zero, remove the width and add the height. Add the inventory background as the image and add a layout element component. And the craft slot script. Make a UI image on the item craft, call it icon. You can copy my position settings, but it will have a lot more sense once we add the icons. On the item craft add another UI image call it button create. Add a default UI sprite to it and adjust the position accordingly. This will be your craft button. Again it will make sense in a tiny bit.
add a button component to it and click drag the item, craft and select on create button. Now we create a UI text as a child and style it however you want. I'm just gonna write craft and center it. Now add another UI image on the item craft and call it list of parts. This will be used to represent an icon of your items. Add the grid layout group and adjust the position. Now go back inside the item craft and start dragging the game objects. Icon to icon. Actually we need one more UI text and call it name, position it here and call it item name. Now back in the item craft, add the name to the name slot, list of parts to parts, button create on the create button. Now we go back into our scene and in the canvas add a UI image again called part and make a prefab out of it and delete it from the scene. Now again position it at the corner of the canvas and find whatever you wish to craft. I will craft some wood so I made a wood icon. Now add a wood icon as the source image and go back into the item craft and as a part pref add the part prefab.
Now we need a stick icon or whatever the wood is made of or your item. Import it to Unity in the same exact way and add a new item called stick. The icon for stick and the real prefab of a stick, I just used this branch called it stick and added a trigger on it, just like we learned in the last video. Add added the item pickup script with the icon and the parent. In the stick item, I added the prefab out of hand. And now I created another item called wood and did the exact same steps for it, just making a prefab an actual item. Now for the important part, go into your item and go to details and add 3 sticks. This is what we'll need to create wood, 3 sticks. The name details is actually the crafting ingredients needed to make that object or the item. Now in the canvas on the craft UI script, for the craft items add the wood item. And on all of the public UI places make sure you are putting game objects from your canvas directly, otherwise it's not going to work. When you press play you can see that I added the inventory from the prefab folder, so I just replace it with the one in the canvas and now everything works. But our content tab is way up, so it doesn't look good. Also now we can see how everything is looking, so we can start adjusting everything we want. I adjusted small things here and there, for example text color, text size and stuff like that. Also I adjusted the size of the icons or sticks in my case, and I adjusted their position as well. To fix the content part overlapping, simply go into the content on the scroll view and adjust the point on the Y position. Now everything should work, let's play to test it out. I quickly added 3 sticks and hit play. I go and pick up the stick.
and once I have enough, see here I can go into the crafting UI and click on craft and now I have some wood, which I can remove from my inventory, pick it up again and so on. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, if you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.